Well, hello everyone. I am here after another wonderful, wonderful day at Papa John's. Um, actually, it was a pretty decent day. I just went in for a rush shift, wound up working um, at a different store than the one I usually work at, which is fine. Um, but so it's kind of neat, you know, seeing a, another store, seeing a different delivery area. Um, so that was kind of all good and well. Um, I am really tired. I have been tired all week, but I actually have two days off in a row. It's a thing I have not had in a long time, but I finally have it. So, what did I want to talk about today? You know, I actually did have something. There was something I'm like, I'm not going to talk about the election. I'm going to talk about, and it's gone. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> So there it is. I think um, I'm just going to talk about kind of wrapping things up. What do we got going on for the rest of the year? Let's see. We have Final Fantasy 15 coming out on November 29th. Very big deal. Um, we've got Thanksgiving to get through. When is that? It's usually, what is it, like the last Thursday of the month or the third Thursday of the month or something. So that's coming right up, I would think. But I never know. I, I never pay much attention to that anymore. Um, Christmas. we got to get through Christmas. And all of the holidays. Um, that's kind of it. I'm just trying to think of, like, if there's any major, major stuff going on. Anything. Any games coming out other than Final Fantasy XV. Because that's going to ruin my whole life. I'm going to just uh, spend my days playing that for a while. When it comes out, I actually asked for three days off work, and they gave them to me, <laughs> 29th, the 30th, and the 1st, so that's going to be what I'm going to be doing for a while, um, let's see, I want to get brewing some more beer here in another week or so, I'm trying to get my debit card time to cool off, why don't you just pull out into traffic and then not fucking go anywhere, god damn it, I hate people, I'm just going to pull out and kind of hang out, because I'm not quite sure what the fuck's going on, anyway, uh, now, that's an interesting thing, actually. Kind of derailing here, talking about people driving. I don't know what it is, but my friend made this observation. A friend of mine made this observation once, and I think it's kind of true. But, like, if you drive around, say, downtown Salt Lake, people don't know how to fucking drive, but they drive like assholes because they're, like, not paying attention, or at least that's the impression you get. You know, you just think, like, this is a person who is flat out not paying attention. But the further south and west you go, the more it's like people drive like assholes because they're entitled to or because they think they're entitled to, <laughs> you know? Like, th that's where you get more of, like, the people in big trucks that are, like, you know, speeding egregiously and, like, cutting people off and not using their turn signals and just, just being assholes. And it's kind of an interesting... I, I don't know why it is. I don't know, like, what it is that makes that happen. You know, I don't know what it is about those areas or those parts of town that are like, in this part of town, people just aren't paying any attention. In this other part of town, people are paying attention, they're just assholes. Like, I, I, I don't know what, why that happens, but it is kind of true, and that's, you know, now that I work out in freaking West Jordan, it's kind of true. It's like, people just drive like assholes because they're they, like, think they're entitled to. I can't explain this. You don't get the impression, like, no, this person is paying attention. This person understands what he's doing. He just doesn't care, you know? Whereas, like, that thing that happened just now is, like, a person clearly completely fucking oblivious to anything or anyone around him. He wasn't, like, deliberately being an asshole. He was just, like, like, oh, fuck, there are other people on the road, huh? Shit, what do I do now? It's really annoying. Anyway... So, yeah. And I'm trying to think, one of the things, this is a thing that sort of baffles me. Person spends an enormous amount of money on a car, right? I don't know what it is, but uh, the Porsche, what's the SUV? Not the Cayman, the Cayenne. The Porsche Cayenne. Is that right? The Cayenne is the SUV and the Cayman is the little Boxster thing. Okay. The Cayenne, right? You can get a Porsche Cayenne with a twin turbo V8. That's a thing. You, you, you can have that. It costs an egregious amount of money, but you can have that. And I see lots of them around here. I see lots of people that are dropping a hundred grand on one of these things. And then they drive 25 fucking miles an hour everywhere they go. You have a Porsche. You have a Porsche. 
and you're driving like, like, it, I, I, <laughs> see, like, I can't, I'm short-circuiting even thinking about it. Like, why would you, you've got this incredibly hot car, you've got all this horsepower, you're going to get nine miles to the gallon no matter what the fuck you do. And I'm not saying these people should, like, speed egregiously or, you know, be stupid. I'm just saying, like, you have a Porsche and you're driving, like, 15 miles an hour everywhere you go. Like, why? Like, they're not even getting it up to the speed limit, for God's sake. And it's like, uh, what are... Uh, <laughs> and the other one I see, this is weird, but the other one I see, like, people just driving slowly are WRXs. I cannot figure it out. Like, I'm going to get a WRX and then drive 30 miles an hour everywhere I go. I don't care what the speed limit is, 30 is the max. And that's even more baffling because there again, it's like, you know, the whole point of the WRX, the whole reason you get one is because like, well, I want a car that's practical, that gets reasonably good mileage, but that's also screaming fast when I need it to be. Like, that's what it's for. You know, it's this car with 120 more fucking horsepower. That's what it is. And apparently, from everything I've heard, I've never driven one, but the mileage is almost as good. You know, it's just that if you want to just go screaming down the street, whereas this car, you know, here, this... Yeah. Now, I'm sure you heard that. A lot of noise. Nothing actually happened. You know? <laughs> like, that, that's, that's how it works with this car, which is fine because this car is actually a really good workhorse. It's a really good car for delivering pizza in. But imagine if I had been in a WRX and done that. Like, I would be to this traffic light already. And yet, 30 fucking miles an hour everywhere they go, I don't understand it. I do not understand it. Like, it, it baffles me. Anyway. That was just kind of a... I, I, I kind of got derailed there talking about, like, people driving, which is good, because I didn't really have anything to talk about in the first place, but... But the whole thing is just kind of baffling to me. The whole, the whole like, you know, spending huge amounts of money on a car or buying some really hot car, and then... And again, I'm not saying that people should drive, like, assholes, because, you know... The flip side of that is, like, GTIs. I don't know what it is about people. Like, if you own a GTI, you're an asshole. I honestly think, like, if you go in to test drive a GTI and you're, like, not tailgating people and using your turn signal and shit, they're like, you know, I'm sorry, sir, I just don't think this car is going to be a good fit for you. Um, we do have some nice Passats and some lovely Jettas that we can show you. You know, like, if you're not an asshole, you can't own one of those cars. So I'm not saying you should go to that extreme either, but I'm just saying, like, but at least there it's understandable. It's like if I had a GTI, well, I would continue to drive like a middle-aged woman because that's just what I do. But if I, you know, I, I understand that, like, a person's like, I'm going to buy a GTI and be an asshole. I would understand if somebody owned a Porsche Cayenne and was like, I'm going to be an asshole. But they don't. Or they do. They, they, they're assholes. They're just a different kind of asshole. Or they're going to drive really, really slowly. And speak of the devil, now I am behind a person in a Chevy. At least we're in a parking lot, so he has an excuse. Yay, he's parking. Good for him. All right. That was actually where I wanted to park, but I guess if I have to walk an additional five feet, it isn't going to kill me. Anyway, that is going to do it for me. I have got the next two days off, so that means you guys do too. You don't have to put up with me for two more days, and I will be back on Saturday.